SpaceX Starlink version four versus the mini. Which one is right for you? I'm glad you asked. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we have a little bit of fireside. Coming to the end of some fireside, sadly. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking space, talking SpaceX, and of course, Starlink. Today is going to be a Starlink day. We're gonna be talking about version four combined with the Gen 3 or the Mini, which is best for you. So today I'm gonna to go through a couple of articles, combine them all together and give you some information that is going to hopefully help you to make the decision. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a nice helpful chart. You can kind of go through and see all of the specs for the different machines, the version four compared to the mini to see which works best for your specific needs. Now, some things I found when doing this video, I wasn't aware of, and I'm sure you won't be either. So there should be some really good information here for you when you're making that decision to buy a version four or the mini. Anyways, before we get into the article, I wanna say that if you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, do all of those things, share. Sharing is caring, I would appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink content, goodness, I should say, I have over 450 videos I've made for you in the last 45 months or so. I'll put a link here, don't click on it yet. This link will take you to my playlist. Once again, wait until you're done watching this video, then go back and click over there. And finally, if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button right down here. You could give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's fine. The video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. So let's jump right into this article. And then I wanna say down below, I wanna hear from you. What works for you? Which one is best for you? A version four with the generation three router or the mini? And then why? Why did you decide on that? And what is your use case? I would love to hear from you and have this discussion. And I'm sure a lot of other people will also. So the article starts out by saying, SpaceX Starlink satellite internet has flipped the script on staying connected, beaming fast Wi-Fi to places where traditional cable cannot. But choosing between the DISH version four and the router generation three kit and the SpaceX Starlink mini is like picking between a powerhouse and a nimble traveler. Each shines in its own lane. Let's unpack these two options, weighing their strengths and help you decide which fits your vibe, whether you're streaming in a rural cabin or chasing signal on a cross country road. The Dish version four and the router Gen 3 combo is the big gun built for those who need unshakable internet at a fixed spot. Fixed, that is very important. Picture a family in the sticks, juggling 4K movies, online gaming, and video calls. PC Magazine clocked it at 150 megabits down and 23 megabits up with a tight 29 milliseconds latency, perfect for heavy lifting. The version four dish weighing in around seven pounds is sturdy with a larger antenna, shrugging off 60 mile per hour winds with no problem. Paired with the generation three router and there's Wi-Fi six and tri-band magic, it handles up to 235 devices simultaneously. Its AC power runs between 100 to 240 volts, sipping around 75 to 100 watts of power and lean on WPA2 tried and true security. Now, on a side note here with that router and WPA2, they state that it's leaning on WPA2, which is the security protocol for the older AC router, but this is an AX router. So it does have WPA3 security built into it. I think that it's just not turned on by default. Don't quote me but I believe that to be the case. Anyways, it continues. The version four generation three kit is perfect for home or business use, especially at its lower sale price of $349. I saw that price. I was like, wow, that is pretty cheap for what you're getting. $349. I paid 600 guys. Come on. 
Then there's the Starlink Mini Kit, a featherweight champ at around 2.6 pounds made for life on the move. Toss it in your backpack for a camping trip or set it up in an RV it's ready to go. Real world tests see the speeds at around 90 to 100 megabits down and 10 to 18 megabits up with latency around 33 milliseconds. It's no slouch for streaming Zoom, but caps at about 128 devices with Wi-Fi 5. Keep that in mind, 128 devices. We'll get into that in just a second also. It uses power more conservatively using about 25 to 40 watts running on DC instead of AC, 12 to 48 volts via a USB-C or a barrel jack. Perfect for battery setups. Its WPA2 security matches the version 4 and weatherproofing holds up anywhere. Priced at $599, sometimes will drop down to $449, which isn't too bad. It's a nomad's dream. Think road trips or off-grid workers. So what's your play? The Dish version 4 at $120 per month for residential plans is the go-to for stationary power users needing speed and capacity. Think rural homes or offices, while the Mini tied to its Roam plans for either $50 up to $165, depending on which one you're getting, I'll get into that in just a second, thrives on portability, but in the US it's not compatible with the residential plan, unlike some global markets. Now, that's what I wanna make you aware of. If you're buying a Mini, you're not going to be able to use it in the US with your current setup with your residential setup. It's not made for that. You have to get a roaming plan. And the roaming plans, once again, are either $50 to $165. It depends on which plan that you get. Now, as I promised, I put together a chart for you. Now, I'm gonna go through the chart so that you can understand what's on here. And hopefully, by the time you're done looking through this with me, you'll be able to make an educated decision on either to buy the version four or go with the mini. And then you'll know why. Because once again, the why is everything, all right? Absolutely everything, in my personal opinion. So on the chart, we have features, then we have the Dish 4 with the router Gen 3, and then finally we have the Starlink Mini. Starting out with the price. Now, $499 is the normal price for the version 4, but we see it as low as $349 sometimes when it goes on sale. Whereas the Mini is at $599, about $100 more, and it goes down to as low as $449. Now, not bad, the prices are still high and I do believe in the future they're going to go down and maybe even the distance future, they'll be free, okay? Or pretty close to it, maybe 99 bucks or something. But for now, it is not there. I had to pay 600 for my version two when it just came out of beta and that was like 40 plus months ago, it was a long time ago. Now the download speeds for the Dish 4, we're seeing 150 megabits down. Bear in mind, I see more than that. Okay, I see about 230 and at times up to 320, 325 I've seen in the past. So these are averages, keep that in mind. So about 150 on average for the version four. Whereas with the mini, they're getting about 90 to 100. I have heard people that have written into the show that are getting close to 200 in really just open areas where there's no one else using it. So is it going to be a little bit slower? Yes. Buy a lot? No, but a little bit slower. And I'll tell you why in just a second. The upload speeds for the Dish 4 is around 23 megabits. I've seen about 30 for me in the past. And for the Mini is about 10 to 18. I have heard reports of in the 20s with that also. So these are once again averages. So is there a difference? Yes, once again, the Mini is a little bit slower. As far as latency, latency is everything. All right, latency is 29 milliseconds with the version four and 33 milliseconds with the mini. Now, the four milliseconds is a little bit more than what I've seen from you guys talking to me over the last couple of months. And what I'm seeing is about two milliseconds difference. So when they say 29 to 33, it's probably more like 29 to 31, somewhere right on there. Either which way, you'll never know the difference. Latency is important, but when you're that close, you will not know that you're using one or the other. 
in regards to latency. Also, Wi-Fi standard. Now, the Wi-Fi that it's using on the Dish 4 is Wi-Fi 6 and it's tri-band, whereas the Mini is using Wi-Fi 5. Now, that's actually very important because Wi-Fi 6 is using an AX router, whereas the Wi-Fi 5 is an AC router. The importance is that whole security thing that I was talking to you about just a moment ago. We'll get into that in just a second. Now, supporting devices. Since Wi-Fi 6 supports more, you can see that Wi-Fi 6 is right around 235 devices for the version 4, whereas with the Mini, it's going to be able to support simultaneously 128 devices. If you have 128 devices, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, that's a lot of devices, either which way. But 235 on the version four. And since it is an AX router, it handles the traffic better. So you're gonna get a better experience, faster Wi-Fi with the version four, with the Gen 3 uh, router than you are with a mini. That's just simply it. Once again, that's the difference between AX and AC. Okay, now power consumption is a big thing, big. 75 to 100 watts with the version four. Whereas with the mini, they're saying about 25 to 40 watts. That's less than half. I've heard people report to me 20 to 22 watts while it's just sitting there idle. That is nothing. That is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing, especially if you're going to use it on the road. Less power is awesome. Very, very important. If you're a camper, RVer, off-roader, whatever you're doing, less power is much better. Also, the power type is what makes all the difference in the world. The version four requires you to convert your DC to AC to use it. And even if you use a sine wave, you use a really good inverter, normally you lose about 10, 15, 20% of your power. So you end up with a lot less power available to you in that battery, okay, in your solar generator than if you use something that directly allows you to use DC. Hence, the Mini. The Mini allows you to use straight DC, and it does it through either a USB-C cable or the barrel connecting cable that you see on most generators. So by using or going from DC to DC, you're not losing that 10 to 15 to 20% of power. It's just directly powered. And what's nice about it is it will be powered by 12 to 48 volt. That means that you can take like a Tesla or something that's pumping out like 16 volt and it doesn't matter, it'll just take it. Or if you're using, let's say, one of those power generators that's kicking out 48 volts, that's fine. It'll take that too. Or just a battery that's a 12-volt battery, it will use that also. So it gives you a lot of latitude with the Mini. Now, when it comes to security, this is where there's like this discrepancy. AX routers normally will give you WPA3, which is the latest and greatest security protocol. Whereas the AC, compared to the AX, the AC, what we see in the Mini, gives you the WPA2. Less secure, but it's still highly secure, all right? The problem with it is, is you cannot find anywhere that SpaceX Starlink version four is actually using WPA3. They just keep saying secure WPA. That's not it. Is it one or the other? My personal opinion is, and I don't know this for a fact, is that WPA3 is available in the version four, where obviously it's not available in the mini because the mini is definitely a WPA2 as it is an AC router, whereas the AX router that we see with the version four, with the Gen 3 router is WPA3 or has WPA3 in it. I just don't think that it's set up by default. That's what I think. Now, once again, I am not sure so take this with a little bit of grain of salt, but that's what I think. Either way, you're gonna be secure with WPA2 or WPA3. Also, portability, very important. With the version four and the Gen 3 router, it is really for a stationary situation. You set it up and you just leave it there, maybe on your house or maybe on a office building or something like that. Whereas the Mini is just highly portable. It's designed to be portable. It's designed to actually work at 100 miles per hour. 
<laughs> so you could use it anywhere, all right? In your car, in your big rig, because you're, let's say, moving cargo from one side of the country to the other. You could literally stick it on the top of your big rig and now you're constantly connected, even in dead zones where you have absolutely no cell signal. You still have full signal, full coverage, full mapping and everything else that you would get with an internet connection. So, very, very important, portability. And when it comes to pricing, $120 for the residential plan compared to 50 to 165 for the roaming plan. Once again, in the US, you can only buy the roaming plan with the mini, whereas in other countries, you can actually get a residential plan, even though you have a mini. So in the US, you can go with the $50 a month plan and then you'll get a specific amount of gigs and then that's it and you can buy more if you want or you could go with the unlimited plan which is 165 dollars per month once again that is a roaming plan you can take the thing anywhere really important if you're traveling so to sum up who is the version 4 with the gen 3 kit good for in comparison to a mini if you are a home user or maybe you're a business, or you're in a location that you need just the fastest speeds and you want something that is just steadfast, it works great, you get all of the niceties, it's as fast as it can possibly go, but it doesn't move? Well, the version four kit is the way you should go. Now, if you're a traveler, camper, or maybe you need something for emergency situations, the mini is by far the way to go because that's going to give you the ability to take it anywhere and now, very importantly, power it anywhere using, once again, a Jackery, EcoFo, whatever battery or let's call it solar generator that you have available to you. Meaning that if you have solar panels and you have one of these solar generators, well, you literally have internet anywhere on the planet, basically in perpetuity. Because at nighttime, you're going to be using it through the battery. And then at daytime, well, it's going to be charging the battery as well as using it through solar. So it works out really well for people that are traveling or if you need to use this anywhere off grid. My question to you is what works for you? Like I said at the very beginning, I want to know which one is the pick for you. For me, since I don't really move around very much, the version two is good enough for me. I'm getting fast speeds, it's mounted to the roof, and what's really cool is the version two is fully articulating, meaning that if they need to change where it's pointing, it does it automatically, automagically, in the firmware updates that they do, or any update that they do. I don't have to touch it. So if you are someone that cannot get to the location of your SpaceX Starlink, let's say on a third floor somewhere on a rooftop that you do not have a ladder to get to or you don't feel secure getting to it to change its orientation or to change anything about it, well, the older versions are not bad either. In that case, see if you can find a generation two available on eBay or something and save yourself a little bit of money. But either which way, the choice is yours and hopefully the information that I gave you here in this video helps you decide which is right for you. So once again, I want to know down below which one you picked and of course why. And finally, if you're looking to buy a SpaceX Starlink today or maybe in the future as you're watching this video down the road, SpaceX Starlink gave us a promo code and what I did is I put it to this, matter of fact, I'll put it right here, URL. If you go to jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, once again, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, you're going to get one month free. So on top of any kind of sale going on, it doesn't really matter, you will get one month free and I will get a month free too. Full disclosure. So you will get a month free and I will get a month free. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink. And that's if you're looking to purchase it in the near future. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you did throw the video thumbs up, please share it with your friends, family, your community. That is very helpful. 
And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch and my tees and my shirts and my books and everything else. If there's something over there that you like, please pick it up and help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, either through version four or mini. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. 